What's up guys, XM360 here, and in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Canbor Bluetooth wireless earbuds. So the Canbor company sent these out to me free of charge for me to review, but these will normally run you $30. They're sold on Amazon, so they ship pretty quick. I'll provide a link down below on where you can purchase it for yourself. They come in two different colors. They come in silver and black, or they come in silver and blue. Now the silver and black ones are the ones I have here. They're the $30 ones. The silver and blue ones cost a little bit more, they're about $36. So these aren't just headphones either, they also have a built-in microphone so you can answer calls without actually taking out your phone, so that's pretty cool as well. I'm just going to read through some of the Amazon specs on their listing while I'm opening this up for you guys. They boast a 110 milliamp battery. And I just wanted to point out that these earbuds also come with this really nice hard plastic box that you can store them in when you're not using them, which is really nice because a lot of times earbuds will just come with some cardboard box that falls apart. So back to those specs really quick, they say that these earbuds are sweat proof and that you get 8 hours of playtime for every 3 hours of charge, and you also get about 250 hours of standby time. And these earbuds are compatible with any Bluetooth enabled device, so any phone, any smartwatch, or any tablet that has Bluetooth, you can use these earbuds with it. So in this little box right here, inside the plastic box is another cardboard box that has all the contents, and right here is going to be your user manual. That first little plastic pouch I took out of there just a moment ago is going to be the earbuds themselves, but I'm going to show that in just a second. This comes with a charger and it also comes with some extra ear pieces that fit on your ear a bit better so they have a small one, a medium, and a large one. And then this right here is just a little thank you card from the Cambor company for purchasing their product. So what we have right here is the little ear pieces that actually go and sit inside your ear, inside the ridge of your ear, and they have different sizes for different sized ears. Next up we have a little micro USB charging cable. That's pretty self-explanatory. It doesn't come with the piece that plugs into the wall so you may need to get one of those if you don't already have one. This little baggie right here just has the little earbud pieces that actually sit inside of your ear. And it just has some replacement ones. I'm guessing those might be different sizes for different sized ears. And then finally, we have the earbuds themselves in this white little pouch. Now, I know I did say that these are wireless. And I know technically speaking, they aren't wireless because there is a wire that goes from one earbud to the other. But they are wireless in the sense that they don't connect to your device via wire. There's just one wire that kind of sits behind your neck that connects the two earbuds. So the most notable feature on these is that kind of brush steel little plate on the outer part of the earbud that says Canbor. And on first appearance it looks pretty good. I'm going to get it in better light to show you guys it a bit better. I'm not sure if it actually is metal or if it's fake or not. I can't really tell just by touching it, but it does look pretty good. If you look pretty closely there are some little tiny imperfections here and there, but that's only really when I zoom in very closely on the camera. At a glance from a distance or even a foot away, it does look pretty good, so I do like the quality of these earbuds on first appearance. I obviously will have to test them out to give you guys some more information on them, but just looking at them out of the box, I do like them a lot. I do like how that cord is one of those kind of flat rectangular cords. I like those a lot, and I'm not sure on the name of that type of cord, but I do prefer that over a circular round cord. And that little switch I just zoomed in on there, that's the control for these earbuds so that you don't need to take your phone or whatever device you're using out of your pocket. There's a button to answer phone calls, and there's also buttons to adjust the volume on that little switch. And if you guys haven't noticed yet, there is no end to that wire. It just loops from one headphone to the other. And I believe you're supposed to wear these with a the wire behind your neck, but I don't think it would really make a big difference if you wore them with it in front of your neck. On the top of the left earbud, you're going to find the little port to plug in the micro USB charger. Like I said, that is included with this, so you don't need to go out and buy a separate charger, but you might need to buy a wall adapter for USB if you don't already have one. Besides the four extra little earbud pieces that you get with this, it also includes two that are already on the earbuds. And I like these a lot because they have that little like red inner piece and I think it does look pretty nice as opposed to one that's just all plain black. They don't come off very easily either, you do have to use some effort to actually take them off. And it does take a little effort to put them back on too, so I probably won't be able to do this one handed here. Now those little rubbery hooks on the top of the earbuds, those are what set these apart from just your standard earbuds that don't have those. Those are what make these really good for working out and physical activity. They kind of hook into the ridge of your ear, the part that's right above the hole, and it's not very uncomfortable or anything like that. It kind of just hooks and sits in there and basically stops the earbuds from falling out and it makes them a lot more secure. 
Now those little rubber hooks are removable and as I'm about to show you, you can take them off pretty easily and you can adjust them too at different angles. And that's why they give you different sized ones too because they know everybody has different sized ears. So I probably will need to adjust these a bit for my ears because I'm guessing that the way they ship them standard won't fit everybody. Now before I actually test these out for myself, I am going to show you guys how to actually pair these with your device via Bluetooth. On the left earbud, there is a little tiny power button that's located right here. And this is where I'm going to have to bring up my first critique of these earbuds. This power button is too tiny and too recessed and flush with the earbuds themselves. I find it very difficult to push. I can't really push it well with my thumb and I have to kind of angle my thumbnail just right in order to hold it down. I mean, it's not a major issue, I just wish it kind of sat up a little more so it was easier to push. But anyways, to turn them on, you're going to hold it down for a couple of seconds, and then you'll see a little red light start flashing. Then you're going to hold it down and continue holding it down for a couple more seconds until you see that light flashing red and blue. Once the light is flashing red and blue, that means it's now in Bluetooth mode and you'll be able to pick it up on a device. And it'll show up on the device as H901. So as you can see, I just connected right there. I'm now connected with these and you'll see a little light flashing on there. It won't be flashing red and blue anymore. That's when you know that you are connected. And that is one little tiny minor point of critique right there. They should change it from H901 to Canbor. That way you can easily find it when you're on your list of Bluetooth devices. But like I said, that's a very, very minor critique and it doesn't really affect much at all. It's just more of a suggestion than anything. So I'm now going to stop recording, I'm going to head outside with these earbuds on, and I'm going to play some music so I can listen to the sound quality, and also see how well they stay in my ear, and if they fall out or not when I go through jumps, or maybe do little leaps, or just when I'm jogging fast. I'll give you guys a report on it in just a moment. Okay, so I just completed my little testing. I did some jogging, some jumping, I got a little sweaty to test out the sweat proofness. The sweat didn't affect anything at all, they didn't break down when they got a little bit wet. I wouldn't say that they're completely waterproof, I wouldn't try that, but they definitely are sweat proof. The sound quality was very good for $30, they're definitely not the most incredible pair of headphones I own, but I don't have any issues with the sound quality. Now I did have one earbud fall out when I did a very large jump. I felt that the hooks weren't the right size so I did end up changing them out, and after I changed them out to a better size, I didn't have any earbuds fall out for the rest of the test. So you do have to make sure that you have the right sized hooks in before you use them, otherwise you might have an earbud fall out every now and then. I also tried answering a call with the microphone feature, and the call quality was good. They said it did sound like they were on speakerphone, which you would expect from something like this, but they said they could hear me and everything was completely audible. So really, the only issue I had with these earbuds is that power button. It sits a little too low and it's a little bit too recessed, which makes it kind of difficult to push down. But besides that, everything was great. The price of $30 or $36 for the blue pair is very good. And because it's shipped by Amazon, it does come pretty quick. And you could probably get free shipping too if you have Prime. But anyways, that's going to wrap up my review of the Cambor Bluetooth earbuds. If you guys have any questions at all, leave them in the comments below. I'll put a link in the description on where you can purchase this product for yourself. If you found this review helpful in any way, hit that like button down below. And if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button for more amazing product reviews. So as always guys, thank you for watching from XM360.